Welcome to the Creating Short Answer Questions in the Question Library demo. First, log in to your Desire to Learn account and go into your course. On the Course Navigation bar, click on the Assessments link. Notice the tabs at the top, Manage Assessments, Question Library, and Statistics. Click on the Question Library tab. Click on the section name to go into its folder. From the New drop-down button, click on the question type you want to create. To create a short answer question, pick that option from the New drop-down button. This is a fill-in-the-blank question, where you type in the underscores to make the blank and the blanks to enter the answers are at the bottom of the question labeled blank number one and blank number two the order of the answers matter you can leave the title of the question blank doing so will make the question text show up as the title you can leave the points value set to one this number can be changed later when you create your assessment. Click in the question text field and enter in your question. Use the underscore key as the blanks in your question. Example, I teach at blank technical college. I use D blank L. If you want to add an image to go along with this question, click the insert an image button and locate the image on your computer and then click the add button. Count how many fill in the blanks you left for the students to answer. This is the number of blanks you need to have. Notice that you start with one blank. If you need more blanks, use the add blanks. In this example, we need two blanks, so we'll add one more. Next, size answer box you want the students to see on the test for each blank. We have one word answers, so we'll choose one row and a short column width. The answer box is for the right answer. Type in Midlands. We need to add an additional correct answer for a variation of this answer. Click on the Add Answer text. Type in Midland apostrophe S as the second correct answer. For both, these are non-case sensitive. So we have case insensitive bubble selected. You can also use regular expressions. Click on Add Answer Text. Type in caret Midland and set the evaluation type as regular expression. This will take an answer of anything that starts with Midland. Click on the Check Answers box to make sure that your answers are valid. Fill in the answer box for blank number 2. Type in a 2. We need to add an additional correct answer for the variation of this answer. Click on the Add Answer Text. Type in open parentheses to close parentheses and set the evaluation type as regular expression. 
This will match anything that has a 2 in it, such as D2L, D2, or 2345. Click on the Check Answers box to see that your answers are valid. Click the Done button to go back. The Wait column is for how much credit the student gets for that answer choice. The weight is for the whole answer should add to 100. In this case, blank 1 is worth 60 percent. And blank 2 is worth 40 percent. and the total for the question is 100 percent. If you only have one fill in the blank, that answer should be 100 percent. If at any point you would like to see what the question will look like, you can select the preview button at the bottom. Once you have finished previewing the question, select Done to go back to the edit screen. When you are finished making changes, click on the Save button in the bottom left hand corner and you will return to the section list. If you want to create another question very similar to this one, click on the Save and Copy button. That will save this question and create another one with all of this question's information so that you can edit this information instead of retyping it. If you want to create another question of this same type, click on the Save and New button. That will save this question and give you a blank question of this question type. You have now successfully created a short answer question in the question library. To return to the question library, Click on the Question Library breadcrumb trail. Or click on the Done Editing Questions button to return to the Assessments tool.